More than that, we're going to be looking at an attempt at tax reform coming forward. Coming soon. Um, it's unclear to me. I mean, there's they're such a mess. It's so hard to follow this stuff as to what's going on. But the other day, Arthur Laffer appeared on Fox Business to explain the concept that he invented 40 years ago called the Laffer Curve, which he supposedly wrote on the back of a napkin. And Arthur Laffer suggested that if you cut taxes on wealthy people, they will then engage in a lot more economic activity, which will actually generate more tax revenue because they'll be doing so much more business that the money will increase because of volume. He is uh, one of the godfathers of supply-side economics. Here he is explaining what's going to happen if the Senate cuts taxes. It's actually going to get us more tax revenue. Here he talks about it. Uh, the, what it does, what the one and a half trillion does, and uh, I think it's primarily from Corker, and, and uh, I credit him for this, it gives some of the Republicans who really believe in these pay force uh, uh, an out to vote for the corporate tax cut, and, and I hope that's what they do. Uh, I don't want to see it go to 20 percent. I want to see it go to 15 percent. That would be really be the, the stimulus to get this economy going. And let me just say, Ashley, if I may on this, yes. if you cut that tax rate to 15 percent, it will pay for itself many times over, not only in economic growth, but in reduced sheltering, reduced fraud and, 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 and uh, tax evasion, bringing businesses back from abroad, secondary tertiary and quaternary taxes, state and local taxes, all of those will increase in addition to economic growth, jobs, output, and employment. So this will bring in probably a trillion and a half net by itself. Uh, but what Corker has done with that one and a half trillion has given a lot of Republicans a, an opening to be able to vote for this without destroying, quote unquote, the budget. Look, you're, you're yeah, so there it is. The theory that Arthur Laffer is promoting is that if we cut taxes, we're actually going to drive revenue through the roof. And all I can say is this. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Right. That's it. Right there. We don't need anything else. And why do I say that? Uh, as reported in May of this year, Kansas is broke. Last month, Donald Trump's two key economic allies, Munchen and Gary Cohn, unveiled the outline of Donald Trump's much-trailed tax plan, the biggest tax cuts in history, says this piece in The Guardian. The plan's similarity to the one that has left Kansas in crisis is, quote, unbelievable, according to Dwayne Goosen, the former Kansas Secretary of Administration. The economic spirit behind Trump's plan... Arthur Laffer. He was one of the architects of Kansas Governor Sam Brownback's original tax plan. When Brand Brownback outlined his plan in 2012, he too said tax cuts would pay for themselves. He too said tax cuts would benefit everybody. They would be a shot of adrenaline to the heart of the Kansan economy, said Goosen. Instead, Goosen claims the money has gone to a small group of wealthy Kansans while the state's budget has been left with a roughly $1 billion shortfall. This is not the federal government, folks. This is a state government. States cannot print their own money. Its school system, once a crown jewel, has suffered year after year of cuts. Its savings are gone. The nonpartisan tax policy center calculates Trump's tax plan would cost $6.2 trillion over the first decade. We are a cautionary tale, said Goosen. It sounds great. Everybody gets a tax cut and it'll balance, but it just doesn't work. In fact, in 2014, Brownback, when he was campaigning for his reelection, said his plan would add 100,000 new jobs over four years. 
By March of 2017, the state had added just 12,400 private sector jobs. It's not even keeping up with its neighbors. Kansas uh, hiring increased by 0.3% in 2016. Missouri's was 1.4%. And the prop of Brownback's plan, as with Trump's, a huge cut to taxes paid by limited liability companies, or so-called pass-through businesses. Small business owners, like myself, have things like LLCs or S-Corps. And the idea would be you would cut income taxes for those people because they're doing it through an LLC. And those businesses would then go out and invest and create new jobs. Kansas had 190,000 LLCs. In four years, it has added 110 to 300,000 LLCs. And according to Goosen, there is no evidence whatsoever this plan worked. Yet, Arthur Laffer is met with anything but laughter on these shows. And that's the only thing he should be met with. He's a joke. He's a joke. I mean, it's... The funny thing is, is like, if you were to write this character into a novel, you'd probably name him the exact same thing. Yeah, right? he's a total laugher for sure. A very aptly named... Would you say uh, a joke or a con artist? I mean, Both? he's a con artist, but by this point, it should be a joke, right? I mean, it's not like we have, we have direct evidence of the failure of cutting taxes as a means of driving uh, economic expansion. And wouldn't the spin be, I bet it would say like, oh, I destroyed Kansas, but that's just because there's still too much federal intervention that right, strangled right. Kansas. Except for there's the exact same federal intervention in the states that border it, and they did much better. Yeah, but that's And different. here's the best part. Where's Sam Brown back now? Where is he? He's like ambassador to where? Like to... He took an ambassadorship. Sure he did. Let me see. Headed out. On the lam, essentially. Brown back. And it's unbelievable that there could be any, any professional outfit in the world that would entertain these ideas. <laughs> He's ambassador at large for religious freedom. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a country. Of course he is. Of course yeah, he that's is. That's a big one. It's a big portfolio. There. Let's go to the... Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.